What's up, my um, warriors? How you doing? Um, today is Monday. Yeah, Monday. I hate Mondays. But before I get into this uh, video, I um, welcome to my channel. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to turn on the post notifications so whenever I upload the videos, you'll be the first one to know. Um, don't forget also, don't forget to like the video. And don't forget to share to all social medias. Um, got that out of the way. And of course, all my merchandise stuff, everything in the description is going to be down below in the description down below. If that makes any sense. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. But you get the picture and everything. So like... My Teespring store is going to be down below. Um, uh, my Twitter, my Instagram, all the stuff is going to be down below. So if you have not followed me on there, go follow me on there. And um, so, because I do post stuff, you know, for upcoming videos or um, going live or whatever. It's in my, you know, it's going to be there. So don't forget to follow me on that. So today I am going to cook broccoli cheddar cheese soup yes this is in my instant pot and i never tried this before i got all the ingredients and stuff like that so before i get into it i am going to show you what i bought from um at walmart so um because i needed it and everything so now i bought a new oops sorry. I bought a new mouse because the my older mouse has died. <laughs> yeah, I it took took a crap. So um, as you can see here, I bought a new mouse for my computer. Um, I had the other mouse for a long time. Um, my other with my old computer and everything. So this is my new mouse. That's what I got at um, Walmart. Also. I got me a little, um, a tripod, as you can tell, um, I'll be using that for me when I do cooking videos or whatever, but this is my tripod that I bought from Walmart, and I've always wanted to get me a tripod, so, um, but I'll be, I'm cooking video, um, with my new tripod and everything, so. I will be right back and we will get started on um, my cooking. So bear with me. So see you in a, in, a, in a bit. Okay, I'm in the kitchen and everything. I'm going to get up and everything. I have my camera set up on my tripod, as we can tell. Um, that's up a little bit and everything. And my cat will be here, like right now. There's my hair in the background. So, um, I'm going to be showing you what ingredients that I'll be um, working with. Stop it, girl. You're going to, you know, destroy the thing. And I don't want her to destroy the, my tripod because it is new and um, I want to get this going. And I will be moving my tripod a little bit around too. So, but I have it set up where my, um, where my background with the... Um, my microwave is in, in the background of the camera. So um, let me pull up my ingredients on my phone. I have it, you know, I looked on YouTube and um, because there's a certain one I saved in my playlist for me to use for my um, cooking my broccoli cheddar cheese soup. And this guy is amazing. I got a cookbook from him. He does step by step and everything. It's um I'm not you know not affiliated with him and everything, but um but I'm trying out his recipe and everything with all this stuff. So um so let me get all the ingredients out so you can see what I'm doing for my broccoli cheddar cheese soup. So and I have it written down on my phone. So so you know, I have it written down. Let it focus. 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 Come on. Focus. Well, this is all the ingredients and stuff like that. And I have been 
taking it, you know, step by step as it is. Um, so, I sorry for the blurriness. I know you can't see it. But, um, I'm going to show you what I got for my ingredients. So, hang on one second. Okay. It calls for red bell pepper. I'm going to chop it up in a, in a few minutes and everything, but um, it calls for red bell pepper. Like I said, I'm going to chop, chop it up, like dice it up. That's what it says. Since I'm too lazy on cutting onions, and I don't like cutting onions in the first place, I got me just the already pre-made cut up onions, as you can tell. Um, it comes in a packet like this, and it, you can get them in a store, but it's already been pre-made, um, cut up and everything. I like doing, getting something like this. Um, I got some carrots. It calls for two, um, two carrots. So I'm going to um, get this cut up into dices and everything after I shave it and wash it and everything. So carrots and celery. Uh, three stalks, I think that's what he says, three stalks of celery. Um, wash it really good. I always wash things before I start um, cutting up everything. So cut it up, dice it and everything, and... Get that going and I'll like I said I'm gonna go ahead and get all the stuff prepared and dice everything up now this is optional um, he said it's optional um, I do love mushrooms and my like all my pizzas or whatever and everything but most people don't but you really he said you really cannot taste any um, mushrooms in the soup so I bought me eight ounces of um, sliced, already sliced mushrooms, so I can put them in, put it in the soup. And like I said, you can add them whenever if you want to. You can. It's optional, but I'm gonna try it with um, mushrooms because I love mushrooms. And he said you really cannot tell mushrooms that's in there. So, um, so yeah, I'm gonna try it with mushrooms. And like I said, I. Tr I'm trying to, whatever he puts in um, the pot and everything, I'm going to go by what he does. And like I said, I love mushrooms. <laughs> uh, like I said, you don't have to wear um, use, um, use mushrooms. You can leave them out. You can use these, some stuff out and everything. So let me go ahead, wash these things and stuff like that, and chop them up and everything. The ones I showed you, and it's going to be different from the wings because it's in them. It's all my tripod and everything, so, um, so yeah, this is going to be different. So, I will be right back. Okay, now that I've got the um, stuff, this is the celery. Um, as you can tell, I put the onions, which smells by the way into a bowl and I chopped up the uh, carrots into you know small pieces and I did the uh, red red bell pepper <clears throat> chopped it up and everything the best I can <clears throat> so now <clears throat> excuse me I'm going to get out I got three of these things I'm gonna get out these um, things two of them I'm going to um, like put in the microwave in the bowl, nice microwave safe bowl, and um, add water, and one of them is going to be in the pot, so, which you'll see in a minute, so let me get that sorted, so, um, and then I'll add some more stuff, I'm going to put some stuff aside, like spices and all that stuff aside, so you can see what I bought and everything, so, be right back. Okay, I've got my, you know, Two, oops, there's water in it. I got, bought, um, got some two um, thing, and I just spilled water and everything, but to put in a plastic wrap and everything, saran wrap, so that way I could put in the microwave and heat it up just a little bit. But let me get this um, cleaned up. Like I said, 
I spilled some water on the floor. So let me get that cleaned up. But I did saran wrap um, those two, these two brought bags of broccoli. And I'm going to use this one for the first round and everything. And I'm going to crunch it up and everything because that's what it says. So hang on one second, guys. Just bear with me. Okay, I want to go ahead and put one half a cup of all-purpose flour. So this is right here is flour that you see. Um, so, yeah. And then it's calling for one cup. This is one cup of, you can use um, half and half and, or heavy cream and everything. But I decided to go with um, half and half, as you can tell, half and half. So I'm going to put one cup of half and half into my thing. So I'm getting all the ingredients um, measured and put into like a separate bowl, like something like this. So I don't have to measure it later on. I could just pour it in there. That way I'll know I have it. <clears throat> so let me go ahead and put my milk into <clears throat> that bowl. All right, it's gonna call for six cups of chicken broth. I have this open and everything. So I gotta be careful so I won't drop it and spill it all over the place. But I have another one just in case it this doesn't um, hold up, so I gotta add, you know, and into another um, container. I'm gonna put all this stuff in the container so I can get them ready. So I'm gonna add six cups. I'm gonna measure six cups and set it aside so that way we won't have to do it later on and everything. So, um. alrighty. I didn't have six cups of um, uh, chicken broth because. One batch um, of the, the container that I showed the Publix brand, it didn't take. They didn't look good, so I'm not gonna put that in the recipe because it just didn't look. It looks nasty, so I kind of threw that away instead. But I did have another one, and I only had five cups, and I just put um, one cup of water in it and everything. I'm sure it'll be okay, um, but normally it'll be six cups, and I didn't have enough and everything, so I just did five cups of the chicken broth. And I had, and I added one cup of water inside the chicken broth, so I didn't have enough. So I'm guessing it's okay. Like I said, you know, I just didn't have enough and everything. So it's okay. It's all good. We'll manage and everything. So let's get on with it. Okay. Time. Dry time. You need to have one tablespoon of dry time. So what I did. I got me a package and everything. I didn't get one of those, um, I didn't get one of these things. I'll probably get one later and everything, but, um, the container like that. So what I did, I emptied all the time, the, the time into this little, um, container. Um, and I'm going to see about finding another container to put it in and wash it real good. But in the meantime, I've got to measure one tablespoon of dry time. So this is what it looks like, um, as you can tell. Uh, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and measure it. And I do have my one tablespoon for that. So let me go ahead and measure it. And I might get some more stuff out of this bag so I won't lose any more whatever. So let me get that sorted. Okay. Um, another thing is two teaspoons of seasoned salt. Okay. Here's the seasoned salt. I'm going to do two teaspoons of this salt. Um, I, don't, I don't have one teaspoon. I have a half of it. So I will do four of this halves to make two teaspoons. For some reason, I don't know where my other one, my half one is. I mean, my teaspoon is. I don't know where it is. I'll probably have to buy some more and get rid of these. I don't know. But, um... But I have to do four of the seasoned salt for this one. And I am going to put it, all the spices into this little container. As you can tell, all of my spices will be in this little container. So I'm going to measure so I can put it in there. He did say something about another spices or whatever, spices or whatever. I cannot find it. Everything is not my public, so... 
he said that's you know that's optional. You can just do tea, two teaspoons of seasoned salt. So that's what I'm gonna do. Do two teaspoons, and then garlic powder, which I have to um, uh, measure again with the teaspoon. So, and that will probably be two, but seasoned salt will be four. <laughs> so, let me get all the um, um, spices together so you can see what I'm what it looks like once I get done. Here is the garlic powder. Um, I got to do one teaspoon of garlic powder. Now again, with um, with only have a half of um, teaspoon, I got to do two of the halves um, to make one teaspoon for that. So let me get that started. All right, as I all got my um, spices together, you can see I'm not going to try to um, spill it. But this is all the spices that I have to, in order for me to just dump it every everything in. So I'll add it to my list over there. <laughs> so like I said, I'm trying to get all the. You'll see all the ingredients once I get everything. But I just want to show you step by step on all the stuff. So, um, yeah. Let me uh, get another um, one ready, and we'll see about continuing. All right, I got one tablespoon of the Worcestershire, how, however you say it, Worcestershire sauce. This is right here. This is the Worcestershire sauce and it calls for one tablespoon. And so I'm going to try it with, <laughs> with all this, uh, the ingredients and stuff like that. So I'm going to get all this stuff prepared. And so let me see what's next. All right, it calls for um, four, sorry, four cups of um, cheddar cheese, but I um, didn't have it, the cheddar cheese, what I needed and everything, even though I looked for it and everything. They substituted for this one, so I'm going to try it with this thing. So I'm going to measure out four cups of this, and, um, and I do have... I do have two packages, so to measure four and everything, so I'm sure it's probably just going to be two packages. And just to spice, maybe, you know, whatever, you don't have to put this in. Like I said, some of the items that you don't like, you don't have to put it in. But I like this kind of cheese, Borzen cheese. So I'm going to try it with it and everything, so once everything comes out and everything, I'm gonna put it and put this in here. So I know it's a little pricey. Um, it's five ninety nine at Publix. You can get them somewhere else. But like I said, you do not have to put this in here. You do not have to put whatever stuff that you know you know all that stuff in there. You can do whatever you taste you want. I'm just going to go by what this guy did and everything for his YouTube. So I, I love this, this cheese, this cheese is good. So I'm going to cut this up into whatever I can. I'm going to measure out the cheese, the four cups and stuff like that. So and, to, and put it in the bowl and everything. So that way I can just dump it and everything. <laughs> I have the flowers, um, the broccoli florets into the microwave already. Just waiting for it to get cooked while this is cooking. So let me get that um, going here. All right. <laughs> Um, I got the boars and cheese. It's already been, um, you know, chopped up a little bit. There's two packets of cheese. It's already been in here, so it's ready to be poured. Get ready to, um, blend it up and everything. So, I think I'm set for me to go ahead and start my, um, cooking. So I'm going to use my other camera uh, so you can see what I'm doing in the process of doing it instead of using my tripod. So let me get my other camera um, so you can see it and you can hear Jasmine and the backgrounds. So uh, hang on one second. Okay, as you see here, got my mushrooms. That's going to be into the thing first thing. Got my chicken broth plus my one cup of water that's in there. I've got my all my spices. I got my boars and cheese. I've got my Worcestershire Worcestershire sauce, however however you say it. 
I got my all-purpose flour is in here. That half and half cream is in here, as you can tell, it's liquid. All my cheeses, my two packages of cheeses in here. The red bell pepper is all chopped up, ready to go. My carrots is chopped up, ready to go. Um, celery and onions, red onions. And my broccoli florets, which I'll add in the thing. And my stick of butter is salted, um, which I have to dumb thing. And I'm going to be using my um, instant pot. So let me go ahead and get um, started on this stuff. So, like I said, my other um, my other broccoli, my two other packages, is in the microwave, ready to go ahead and um, you know cook a little bit. So while this is cooking, so give me one second, y'all. Just bear with me. Okay. As you can see here, I'm getting everything set up. I've moved some stuff around so I can get this up easier. I've already put the butter in it. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to salt. Once this is um, preheated and everything, I'm going to dump in the onions, the celery, the um, bell pepper, and the carrots, and then um, the um, mushrooms. Once and got, got to get sauteed. So I'm going to hit, as you can tell, the sauteed button. And I'm going to let it get heated up. So once it's heated up, I'll turn back on the camera. All right, I'm going to wait till the um, butter's melted. As you can tell, once this is melted, I will add in the um, ingredients. So. All right. It's starting to um, come forth, so I'm um, just be careful not to burn yourself. Also, so I'm going to add in um, these four things: so the celery, the onions, the carrots, as you can tell, and. The green peppers and I'm going to um, hang on one second see now that's you know you have to um, stir it so that way the butter can um, thing now like I said you do not have to put mushrooms into it but I love mushrooms so I am going to dump the mushrooms like as you can tell I'm going to put it in here Um, so I'm going to mix this all around and you mix it up to like seven minutes. That's what it says. So, um, um, get all the butter, um, like saute it for seven minutes and I'm going to have to use my other hand. So let me go ahead and do this one and I'll be right back. All right. See, I have to wait to seven minutes for it to um, get done to, for me to saute it. So, um, but this is what, it, sorry for the thing, but this is what it looks like. Still waiting for it to, um, for seven minutes. Stirring occasionally. See how the colors turned out very, 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 very good. It's going to look good once I put everything in there. So, as this is a start. And um, like I said, it's sauteing it. I want to make sure to do all the butter around all of it to make it look like it's seasoned, um, liquidy, as you can shiny or whatever. So, um, so I'm just stirring until my next step. And I do have it set for timer for seven minutes, um, sauteing it. So um, until that, then I add in the flour. And then I stir it real good. And then I add in um, the chicken broth, stir it real good. And then add in the florets, the broccoli. So let me go ahead and get this going. And once that timer gets up, I will add in the flour. So. All right, I know you can't see it from this angle. Um, got to stir it so you keep going and stuff like that so once 
once I um, get my butter you know, down to seven minutes, then I add in the flour to stir it. But you have to stir it periodically. You just can't let it stay what it is. So. I'm just moving the camera a little bit. Hopefully you can make it. All right, now the buzzer um, went off, as you can probably heard from my last one. I forgot to say that, but <clears throat> I'm going to add in the flour. This is my all-purpose flour, so I'm going to add it in. So I'm going to mix all that stuff around. Hang on one second. All right, I put the flour in. Um, I'm going to put the flour in. chicken broth this big old thing so and then of course you have to stir make sure the um, thing flour that's away from the bottom, if that makes any sense. <laughs> Just stir it, you know. I'm trying not to slosh the um, chicken broth as a, in the process. I'm trying to get the bottom um, that way it won't have enough flour on the bottom, so I'm not looking at the camera because I'm trying to focus on my stuff. All right, see, this is, um, has all the stuff, and I'm going to add in the broccoli. So, and here's the bag of broccoli. I, had, I opened it, so I dump everything in there. So, and make sure... See, it's already in there. You don't have to stir it if you don't want to. Um, that's not optional. But um, let me go ahead and cancel it. I'm gonna cancel the the, the uh, sauteed. So, um, but this is what it looks like. Like I said, you don't have to stir it when the thing. But if you want to, you can. But um, I'm going to go ahead put the lid on. So. Hang on one second. So I got the lid. I'm going to turn it as you can hear the beep. And make sure, see it's on um, venting. You want it on sealing to that position. So let me see how long. Close the lid and um, cook for five minutes on high pressure. Okay, so now that I have it off, you want to go to pressure cook and you want to do it for five minutes. So I got to make sure to do it five minutes. So once that five minutes is up, 
we can take off the lid once the pin drops and stuff like that so let's cook this for five minutes before we add in more stuff so while that's going um, I'll show you the next step now while my thing is cooking for five minutes the next step I have to sorry I have to look at my phone because the next step I have to um, see in a microwave bowl add two bags of broccoli then add one cup of water then microwave of about nine to ten minutes then drain the um, remaining water of that and everything um, after it's done before I put it in there so let me go ahead and microwave that so that way um, it can be cooked a little bit so once that's done then we will um, get that one done and put it together so now as you can hear my microwave is um, cooking <clears throat> this other two bags of broccoli that I put in the um, um, microwave safe bowl it's um, cooking right now so once that gets done cooking like you know heated up and everything steamed or whatever I will um, get it out of the microwave get it you know all that stuff before I drain it so while that's um, my pressure cooker or my instant pot <laughs> is going on um, while I'm waiting for either one so yeah until then I will turn back on the camera alright I just got the um, broccoli from the um, um, microwave out so I'm gonna leave it it's, you know as you can tell it's the steam I did it for nine minutes and stuff like that so uh, once I get this going I will open this and um, drain it so uh, that way it can drain out the water and everything before I put it in to the pot so um, see as you can tell the pin is up uh, it was kind of struggling I had to help it a little bit so um, the pin is up now it's just gonna wait for like five minutes like it says to get it, you know going and stuff like that so once this um, five minutes is up um, see it's on high pressure that's what it needs to be so so once that's done I will turn back yep see five minutes once it's counting down I will go ahead and um, get this drained as right now so let me do that right now Alrighty, since I put, um, got a strainer, I went ahead and put it into the colander so it can drain. Um, so all I have to do is just dump all that into um, the instant pot. So I got three more minutes until it beeps. So once it beeps, then we'll continue the next step. <laughs> so um, just bear with me, guys. And this is my first time and once I do it this, the second time I am not doing the video again so once this is up it's done and it makes it um, go faster if I do it just without filming so now it's down to two so once this beeps I will see about turning back on the camera probably my other camera so all right now <laughs> this is the, p the tricky part so I have to do a quick release and once it's going to be loud so just to let you know I'm not going to get close so bear with me show you what it looks like now this is what it looks like um, I know it's not complete but I just turned it off so um, I'm gonna try to 
get whatever's on the bottom. Um, whatever. So, I know this nuts are not done. There's no cheese, as you can tell. So, um, the broccoli is still there, which I'll be um, doing the blender. Now, my handheld blender that I got, that I'm going to be using. So, let me see what's next. Um, just bear with me, guys. I'm kind of holding my other camera, the one I'm using right now. So, then I need to um, add in half and half in the spices. So, let me go ahead and add in. See, there's the half and half right there. I need to add it in. So, go ahead and add that in. And I'm going to add in the spices. And like I said, here's all the spices that I um, did. So, let me go ahead and add it in. And I need to stir it, so hang on one second, guys. So now that I've stirred it, um, it looks really nice so far. I have all the spices in here, everything that's in, you know, in here. Now let's see what's next. Um, hang on one second, guys. <laughs> okay, so I add in all that, then I stirred it. Then I need to add in the cheese. Then whisk away slowly for about a minute. So let me go ahead and switch over to my other camera so you can um, see what I'm doing. All right, I switched over to this camera. So I know you can't see what I'm doing. Um, I'm doing the best I can. I probably need to change the whatever. But it's, asked, it's telling me to add in the cheese, to whisk in the cheese. So let me go ahead and do that. I have to do it slowly and I have to use a whisk. So let me do that real fast. So while I'm doing that, And I have to whisk it, you know, for like a minute, it says. So, let me get this going. So... Just to let you know, the pot you probably saw. Um, that way it won't be, um, whatever. So. Now that I got that sorted, like I said, I'm going to leave this camera on. Unless the battery dies down, then I have to change it. So the next step after I... Let's 
by the minute. Then use a handheld blender to chop up the broccoli that's already in here. So I need to go ahead and um, get that going and I'm going to move this out of the way so I won't have to whatever. My handheld blender is right here. <laughs> this is getting a little late kind of type thing. Ah, that's it. Alright. I'm going to um, start doing this. So give me one second. I'm going to blend this all together. Now as you can tell. That's what it looks like and everything. So I am going to um, add in my borzen cheese. Sorry, I have to <laughs> let me um, get this out and everything, and I will show you. And I have to blend it again with the cheese and everything. So hang on one second, guys. All right, now that I've got the uh, Borzen um, cheese that's in here, it's done. Now I need to do two more steps. I gotta add the um, broccoli and the Worcestershire sauce. So I'm going to go ahead and put in, this is my Worcestershire sauce. So I'm going to put that in here. I don't know how you say it and everything. Um, like I said, uh, however you say it. <laughs> so, Worcestershire, Worcestershire, where, whatever sauce. I'm just going to add that in here into my thing. So, and I'm going to add into my broccoli. So, hang on one second, guys. Alright, I got to add in my broccoli. So, hang on one second, guys. So I'm going to stir it around. And I can't wait to try my soup. So now that I got all the ingredients, so I am going to scoop up some so you can see what it looks like. This is my first time, like I said, and I can't wait to try this out. 
So now that I have my soup that's in the bowl, I'll show you what it looks like. You can see it's runny. I have the broccoli, um, stuff like that. The broccoli chunks, as you can tell. Now you can add croutons and everything. I didn't get croutons and everything. So I am going to sit down and I'm going to taste it, test it. So, um, so you can see what my reaction is. <laughs> so hang on one second. Alright, see, now that you see um, my soup, my broccoli cheddar cheese soup, um, I do have all the ingredients plus my thing. So, let me show you my reaction to my thing. Just bear with me since I don't have my tripod on me. I'm using it in my hand. So, um, so let's see. Wow, you can definitely tell, taste the broccoli, of course. Um, you can definitely taste the um, the spices in there. Wow. Definitely the cheeses. This is really good, guys. Wow. <laughs> That's all I can say is wow. Wow, 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 wow. Holy crap. Like I said, you can definitely tell. You really can't tell, tell, um, taste the mushrooms. Even though the mushrooms are in there, you cannot taste the mushrooms at all. Um, because it's like ground up and everything. Um, Seriously, you cannot taste the mushrooms. Um, but it's optional. If you like mushrooms, go ahead and put it in. Like I said, you can't taste it. But if you don't want to put it in there, um, you don't have to. That's optional. Uh, even with um, the Worcestershire sauce or whatever. Some ingredients that you do not want to put in there, you don't have to put it in there. But this is really good with everything that I've copied from the computer itself that I got the ingredients for with the all-purpose flour it's really good so like I said I'm not using my tripod I'm literally holding my camera as we I, as I talk to you guys so my can't my on my hand my arm is getting tired and also my feet are tired for me to stand up on cooking for you guys so yeah. Wow. That's all I can say. <laughs> it's wow. And I have plenty. Mmm. Mm, wow. I got plenty of leftovers, so this is awesome. If you have not tried it, I'll even put the the stuff that I copied off of there, um, off of YouTube, um, in the description down below. So if you guys want to try it and everything, you're more than welcome to. Um, so yeah, <laughs> um, thanks for watching. I'm going to go ahead and finish my soup. I might get some more later on. And of course I got to put some more in the refrigerator. So imagine when I'm smiling and everything you see the broccoli on my teeth. <laughs> so thanks for watching and don't forget my you know all the other stuff will be in the description down below. Go check it out. My um, 
Teespring store. If you want to buy merch, it's going to be in the description down below. Sorry, I didn't wear my shirt like I was going to, but I just want to go ahead and get this stuff done. So, I hope you like this video. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And don't forget to turn on the post notifications. So, whenever I upload um, videos, you'll be the first one to know. And don't forget to share it on all social medias. So, I hope you really enjoy watching my cooking and much as I much, um, you know, doing it for you. And once I do the second time, I won't be able to film because once I know the first time, <laughs> I know how to do the second time. Be a little bit faster. So thanks for watching. I love you all and take care, y'all.